this week and next week, you know, and so I can, you know, go to work and mm-hmm. kind of lay down and I'm tired of working all the time. Boy, I tell you, boy, I'm thinking about this. That this shit was funny as fuck. Oh, oh. This guy is a sweet guy. I mean, he's, he's gay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you guys can get married. You've got a blessing. He thought, oh, you know, I, I'll fly down to East in Iowa here. Come on in. I got some good news. I get five people. I'm going to let you know what's going on. I ain't going to believe this. Epic. Well, I got one person that's going to give me 30 more seconds. I'm going to tell you my announcement. It's going to mess y'all up. But y'all been wanting it. I did it. Lord, oh, God, have mercy on my little soul. You know, I have a. I got to get a moderator. Y'all come on in. You know, we was to tell come on in. You won't get this. I got to hear somebody. Somebody got to type something. Before I say something. I promise you. Y'all going to love it. It's going to be epic. Y'all asked me to do it and I did it. Lord, I'm so, I did I can't believe it, but I did it. I have a. Anytime you Only fans page. Like, I've been uploading on it. Mm. Um, I cannot man, believe you know? that I got them many subscribers that's already. That's already. That's Whoa. That's <laughs> all I did was accidentally, you know, slip something. I ain't going to do it here, but that's all it took. But think about it. I didn't show anything. Just my tattoo. That's it. My birthday. Hey, I got to have a moderator. I need a moderator for this one. Because I'm going to give y'all some epic stuff. Really, I am. I promise. Guys, it's so high here today. No more rain, but it's up to like 99 degrees here in the Carolinas. And my hair is, the humidity is so bad. Y'all see that curl look. And I had straightened it, flat iron it. Don't look like I did anything to self, scare myself. You know, so I had to put it up in a ponytail. You guys know I got long hair, but shoot, it is too hot to do any hair. And I just got off work and school. You guys don't know, I am Carolina Diamond, a.k.a. Stacey Little Double Diamond. Deuces are here. Simply Stacey, just simply Stacey Little. Stacey Roberson, just simply Stacey, Stacey, Stacey. Guys, I promise you, I want somebody. I need a moderator. I need a moderator. Because you know what? I can say it real quick, but I want a moderator here. When I get a moderator, I'm going to say exactly what's going on. The title is what it is. I was going to give y'all the link to my fans only page. It was the only fans. Honey. <laughs> I got more damn, uh, excuse me, Lord. I have more family members over there. And I did, and I just did this, what, about a month now? Well, I wasn't even trying to do nothing. I haven't really posted anything, you know, explicit. You know, because I don't believe in doing that. I believe accidents happening. But it was one particular video. I was, you know, when I was YouTubing, my boobs fell out. I was like, oh, shit, Jesus. My daughter's mom put your tits up and I did. But I don't want to say that now because you guys may have some kids around and I am a grandmother. I'm trying to keep it all in perspective and not be so, how can I say it? I'm not a cyber whore, you guys know that. But I did it because I realized there was some, a lot of people, women on there that needed exercise and, you know, needed the fitness guru, that type of stuff. And I had a bikini on and I was doing push up and the guy was like, oh my gosh, you're so freaking hot. I was like, thank you, salute. But um, uh, well, that I guess I already told told it. But you guys want the link to my um only only fans page? I promise you wouldn't be uh disappointed. <laughs> I got one thousand. Thank you so much. Can somebody say hello to me? I'm not gonna bite you. I'm your best friend. I'm a sergeant major retired from the army. I am um, old country girl. You feel me? But I don't got none of my people here. Katie Roby, are you there, Miss Katie? Um, abandoned boys, is that word? Finest wine, are you there? Who's here? Somebody say something to me, please. But anyway, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Really, I appreciate it. You don't have to say anything. I'm not, not going to make anybody do anything. But yeah, I do have an OnlyFans page. Wake up, gaming. I want you. I want your rank and serial number. I can't give you that. Wake <laughs> up. But I got only fans page now. I really do. I still say, my goodness, my goodness, not my goodness. <laughs> it's not like that, guys. I promise you. I, I am not that type of person to get on there and just show my 
assets, but I do, you know, exercises in bikinis and show them how we soldiers work out. And uh, a lot of people like that already. And I only did one freaking video, and you guys would not believe it. What's up, good is yes, and I was like, oh, <laughs> my daughter's a mom, put them tits up, girl. I was like, Ashley. She said, Mom, you got a beautiful body. I was like, no, not to show the world. She said, show them how you, how my mom keeps it 100. I said, my daughter, she's my oldest daughter, is uh, 34. Ashley, Nicole, you guys probably seen some pictures on Facebook. And my youngest, you know, she is everything to me. But, yeah, I did They only, I did it. I told you I was going to do it. And people did not believe it. It's Halloween. Is it Halloween already? Oh, my God. Wake up. It ain't even like that now. <laughs> No, baby, I promise you, there's no Halloween here. If you see these pearly gates come out, you better know Jesus on the way. Ain't no Halloween here. And I don't do anything that explicit either because, you know, I, I believe in being a lady and everything. I don't believe in, you know, showing my goods like that. It was an accident on one of my videos. I think it was a man find his wife was in some, like, white nighty or something like that. And, you know, it was like the, the sisters didn't want to sit down. So I had to, you know, be... Be good about it. I'm doing fine. Wake up. It's hot as crap. And yes, I do have a um, You Now channel. I'm trying to verify and everything. I don't post three videos, but at the same time, when I see him look sexy the way I am, if I have people pay for that, it makes me a cyber prostitute. I think it's ethical more wrong, but then again, who gives a shit? It's ethical wrong because it's supposed to be grown ups. I ain't like, who a man ain't seen no tits? Hell, you suck one when you came out of your mother. You know, I'm not trying to be uh, rude or anything, but, you know, I actually did a couple of my videos on YouTube, you know, um, let's just say they fell out. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, that ain't nothing. You know, it's not like I'm having intercourse or breaking news. Call of Duty is boring. It is, isn't it? I love Call of Duty. I really do. I really, really do. So that's what you're playing now. Uh, that's what you're playing now, uh, uh, Carl. Excuse me, wake up. I want to, you know, do you, you think I'm going to vamp in my image if I actually got into OnlyFans? Imagine the possibility. This black Italian sister, no man, just want to open her legs and show the world my G string sort of stuff. You know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> full of shit. I'm not going to do all of that. Well, I could. I am that sexy, I think. Would you guys still love me if I did? If I just lay back and, you know, show it all of it? Neat. Well, wake up, game. Wake up, call gaming. Hmm, I don't know. I'm strong enough to do it, but then again, I think about the after effects. Is it worth it? I don't know. A lot of men have told me, Stacey, I want you to take it all off. I'm like, really? If I take it off, what will you do for me? And they said, well, honey, I'll be your sugar daddy. I said, I don't need no sugar daddy, baby. I'm my own sugar daddy. Got my own money. No gaming right now. My live stream is today. Okay, girl. Breathe. I'm always breathing, baby. Facts, for real. But I don't want to get out there, put myself on the line. Where's my grandkids that can see that shit one day? Like, damn, grandma, fine as fuck. <laughs> no, I think about them. You know, I think about them. I think there's a way around it. You know, there's nothing wrong with wearing a G-string or even, you know, if you accidentally show your tits, it's just an accident. But, you know, literally doing it, I don't think I could really do that. I could sit back and look cute all day in some daisy dudes and show you my exercise and twerk and, and what if accidentally my mm -hmm, did fall out. <laughs> it wouldn't be a catastrophic thing, I think. A lot of men probably choke their chickens or something, you know. And for what they asked me to do, one guy said, You know what, Stacy, you ought to set your prices up to $100 a view. I said, What the? What the hell? That makes me a cyber whore. I'm not that. You feel me? I, I, I couldn't, under, oh God, I couldn't face y'all if y'all saw the things they did on you now. I'm not only, I'm only fans, fans only, we call that thing. And I, I've had one the whole time. I didn't do it. One of my friends actually signed it up for me. I was like, Sign me up, girl. Not knowing exactly what was behind it, but I know there's ways around it where you can make money, though. Hell, who says I can't 
sit here in my Daisy Dukes and T-shirt to show my little tat on my stomach that I just got. And also under here, you know, where I would be and be the most sexiest thing. And man, just dream of drooling about me. Because the difference between a real woman and a whore is a whore will actually do crazy shit like that on YouTube or only now. Me, uh uh. I'm, I believe in accidentally tits falling out. And, you know, if you want to sit here and look cool as fuck or whatever and be cooled off, that's the way. But boys, we actually have an intercourse with somebody on TV. I don't think so. You're a beautiful inside and out. Live from Cleveland, Ohio, the heart of the rock. You know it. And the fame is your hero. That's right. But you're not believing that Kurt Cobain shit, baby. I no, no, no. I love Kurt Cobain, you know, and uh, women, we could do a whole lot of things, but you know what? You are what you are. I'm not, oh, I can't even think about the fact that I would have some woman having sex with me or some shit with these guys. <laughs> Actually, one dude says, Stacey, go get your sister to have sex. Well, I said, bitches, you crazy? <laughs> sorry, my language. That's what I said, though. I'm sorry, darling. Wake up. Uh, you got to forgive my language. <laughs> Nah, I, you're beautiful. It's, I understand uh, breaking news, call it. Okay, I'm reading all that stuff right now, but you, do you actually think I should do something of that nature? I mean, I hear Corey and I'm talking about it, and uh, Tony, what's up? And hell, even I heard Honey Gamer and some shit. But, you know, that's just a manly. I don't know. I'm, I'll be afraid. I'm not scared, but I just think about the, the you know, the, my Spanish. I think about the after effects if I did. You know, people... Like, oh, gosh, she's so hot. And could they face me on YouTube? Or would they call me a whore? Like, some of these women out there. Like, true Patricia. You know, shit of that nature. Uh, I don't know. That's something to think about. You know, even though I'm not married to anyone, and I can do what I want with my own body, I think I look gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with showing that. I don't know it doesn't. But the problem is, can you deal with the after effects? I can deal with anything. Because I just seem like, it's only fucking job dudes, occupation. But think about my grandkids. I really don't. I didn't come on along. I just come on and say I was gonna get my only fans page. I do have that, and I will put it in the um, comments where I can do it now. Matter of fact, I show sure exactly was on there. Nothing. Watch. Now I don't know how to do all the other stuff because they start asking me for questions and verifications and shit like that. I'm like, man, hell with this shit. And talking about sending big old files when you already took a picture. But I think that's it. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's. That's my own my um only fans page. Only fans page. So so right now I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'm afraid of the I think I'm afraid of you know the after effects that I did. Could I face myself? Of course I could, but you know, someone be like, Stacy, you're um you don't need to do that. Some a couple people has, and a lot of people want me to, like Randy Quaid, and he wants me to just show everything. <laughs> like I don't think I could follow my heart. I know my heart says do what the fuck I want. I'm grown, but I I never thought about showing my tits or anything like that before. I don't think I could. I don't know. I don't think I could. I'm praying about it, but you know what? It's so my body can do what the hell I want is what God tells me. So, I don't know. You think I should get my hell? If you think I should do this, wake up, call gaming. Do you think I should show my tits? Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. But well, I already know what you're going to say. Thumbs up. I am a voluptuous lady now, and I, if I want to be. <laughs> I just can't take the clothes off, honey. I can't. I'm afraid. Well, my heart says go do it. Do it. Easy cheeseburger money, honey. I love you too, wake up. But I don't want you guys to be like, oh my God. She is the most sexiest fucking thing, but she's a fucking whore. I don't want that. I don't need that in my life. I don't. I'm a mom, a grandma. What do I look like on YouTube? I mean, not YouTube, but uh, OnlyFans showing my tits. I can understand working out, um, promoting my own, you know, fitness channel or something like that but as far as showing them oh lord i think i'm scared i see 
Chuba Latricia, she got one on there. Um, my other friend, McKinney Cruiser, um, he has one. Um, a couple of people do. Of course, they was going to start one. I already got one, but I just ain't uploading old nudity. Just uh, YouTube videos. And I'm trying to wait for verification coming from them. It was the hardest process because one, we already took a picture already in my face. And then it asked me to upload another one and it's files and I'm big and I was like, I ain't even to mess with this thing like that. I'm gonna think about it even more. <clears throat> there may be a sign for me to think about the outcome. But I'm so sleepy like a mosquito bit me. It's just that dog going hot, you feel me? Lord Jesus. Y'all give me a moment. I gotta um go to the restroom. I gotta do number one. I got pee pee. Be right back. But in the meantime, y'all can watch the playback of editing my movie my uh from yesterday. If I can find the freaking remote, I'll be fine, y'all. And I'll be right back. We'll start this from the up top. Sleep, I need a nap. And I got homework too. Hey, anyway. Yes, yeah, I didn't want to go here and stay up that long, but I decided to come back because I was watching my this last live stream. Y'all know my boy Corey. Man, I was in the live stream. That shit was off the easy baby. Whoa. I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to go to uh, do my um, think for the expiration. I'm trying to get myself ready for the park. Uh, it's supposed to be twerking. But the reason I come back on here, I thought maybe some people want to jump from Corey's live stream to come talk about his live stream. And his <laughs> Man, that was probably one of the best live streams I had seen since he. Sergio kicked the chill in his ass, you know? But I guess I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sit right here for a moment because I'll be doing homework at the same time. So if anybody's here, give me a thumbs up, talk to me, if not, then we'll come by, but I was here in about 20 minutes. I want to talk about what just happened. My boy Cooper, I love him with all my heart. Everybody knows he's fine. So I don't beat on him, he's a friend of mine. Uh, this young man, I don't know, he's praying, he's very kind of like, Came to his live stream and trying to hit on Ronnie Corey. Y'all know what Vanda Moore thinks. He's not black and tell he's not gay. But it took Corey telling him, Mr. Young Man ain't gonna get down like this. Boy. He kept on and on and on. No. So I'm just laughing my ass off. And, you know, Brooklyn and everybody up in here just laughing. And, uh, you know, a couple people got, I said, Corey's not gay and all that. You know, I am not disrespecting anybody's gay. And so he is, but, you know, that's you guys. Wonderful, but Corey was trying to tell the young man, you know, I'm not gay and all that. But he 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 just said it real way, and um, and what happened was, you know, comments was been saying it was a funny as hell. It was funny. It was so funny. I was like, 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 yeah, I got my hair washed and it's up in the phone, so so y'all excuse the do rag, but I have got got cute. Um, but I was in the band of boys chat. You guys, it was the most funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. So that's why I say you go to Brandon Boy's chat in the morning at 8 o'clock, you're going to laugh when you're going to laugh at something or someone because stuff always make me laugh. And I got him in the background now, so I'm not trying to play his content on my channel unless you know, I get upset for him. But I can buy just the laugh. Cut my tail off. No, I'm hoping that you guys who were in that chat here today on the box team. But it's not. That's good. Um, I have homework to do today, so I'm pretty much cleaning the house. And, you know, try to relax because um, I was supposed to start work on Thursday, my new job, so I'm excited about that. But right now, I'm just chillaxing day, catch up my homework, you know, for this week and next week, you know, and so I can, you know, go to work and come back and lay down when I'm tired of working all the time. Boy, I tell you, boy, I'm thinking about this. Yeah, this shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> this guy is a sweet guy. I mean, he's, he's gay. You know, that's not wrong with that. You know, you guys can get married. You got bless you. He told Corey, you know, I, I'll fly down there. He's in Iowa here. He kept saying, Corey, I, I mean, he won't call. Cool. He's in love with Corey. And I told Corey, I said, Where was no, you find him, man. I said, You know, I ain't never seen anything like that. I said, You are. 
And uh, this woman who will not believe was 85 years old. She uh, she had COVID-19. 85 years old. You see that? That's what's in my DNA. When I get 85 and go home the road, I'm going to go find the seat, you know? I love her so much because she's a woman from God and, you know, that she had COVID-19. You know, she breathed the first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God, I'm back, y'all. Y'all want to break the news, watch the rest of that. That'd be cool. Give me a break because I'm so hot. I'm cool in the background. I just walk in the house. But listen, y'all. Yeah, that, that's she wake up and Mad and Max and Abandoned Boys. See, she was a prophet also. This is our conversation. Yes, I'm just trying to edit. Not 83. She was um, 94. She was born September 11, 1929. So, she, yeah, she's almost in the 92, 91, something like that. But, yeah, you know, she looks great. I mean, you know, when... when you get your, your wings to go to heaven, you know, whether it was after it's after like she has done before. And I know she's, you know, they say to be absent from the body is to be with God. This is one time I cry because I miss her, but I know she's a great woman. So I'll stay up in heaven. You go to it, okay? It is what it is. You ain't a call bone if you were chosen. I think she's one of them, you know? And so are you. You know, you live, by, you live a good life, you don't have a good afterlife. You live a good life. I'm God. Yeah. Amen. So what, what you going to do? You gaming all day today? You just at work right now? I'm taking my black ass back to work now. I'm tired of sitting around here and I'm making no real money. Man. Dog, I'm real. I don't know. Cheeseburger for real money. I'm taking my black ass back to work. Because I got all I'm tired. working on a PhD. That's, that's good, but it's just a lot of homework. I can't tell one week before. Anyway, I'm back, y'all. Here I am. Or something like that. I can't stop. This is real. Y'all need my hair. I don't want to see well, I need to just let it down. It's so well, hot. Let me turn this down. I could go to the Well, I ain't got nobody to keep watching. There's nobody here. Yeah. Watch the video. Hell, I like going to work and having money on me. If I see a little child or somebody doing something. Of course, I gave it to him. You know what I mean? I'm that type of person. Yeah. But uh, I've been trying to figure out what can I do my extra time. Go to work or go help somebody. And I think I can do both. And I've done my job. All right, guys, you guys can check this out on YouTube. Well, child, that's just uh, my um some of my videos. I don't have my stream yard up, y'all. I am just poop. I just had an interview. They, you know, I'm thinking it was gonna be Thursday. Hell, this no, they put me to work today. And I don't know why am I recording myself right now. And Siri, tell me a joke. Y'all see that long thing right there? <laughs> My Siri. Okay, here are some videos. Streamyard. What do you say, boss? <laughs> All of this is Streamyard. What the hell? What's up, fam? You said Boy Kirk Nugent, and back with another Streamyard. Folks, this bitch is Streamyard. Here we go. YouTube 101, how to use right StreamYard. And I'm going to share with you some of the ones that they've announced, but I'm also going to share a couple of them that they have not announced. Different tweaks and changes that they've made to the platform. Well, anyway, that enough I of that, guys. I don't want to use nobody's content. My Siri is off the chain in it. Okay. Siri, abandon boys. All right. Here are some videos. Well, shit. Look at all the abandoned boys. A-B-A-N-D. Good Lord. Got it. Here are some videos. And you see what happened when I say that? It brings up somebody named Terry Blackwood. Who the hell is that, Jesus? <laughs> What's happening to my Oh, we're one year of my life. YouTube Jesus Freak. Insane in the membrane. Here's what I found on YouTube. Jesus Freak Cypress Hill. This is my boy. I ain't taught him a Here's long what time. I, found on I know YouTube. how he's doing. Oh, yeah. Jesus freak. Who is he at? Oh, God. Yeah, I'm coming back, y'all. I just want to check out some people while I'm here. This is like a shout out and an introducing that I have a uh, OnlyFans page now, but I don't see him right now. Jesus freak on YouTube. 
This is my Canadian Here's buddy. Here's what I man. found on YouTube. Y'all don't know this guy. Y'all need to check him out. I'm trying to find his ass, but right about now, I'm going to have to go to my history ready to do all that. You know? If I don't see him the next 10 seconds, I'm going to switch over to something else. I mean, Jesus, there you go, my boy, right there. Look like a little Eminem, Canadian boy. Yeah. And he says, my face is peeling off. And he says, right here, he says, my new roach clip. He All he do is smoke Reba all damn day. He done cut all his hair. That's my brother, and Canadian brother. God, the good one. Byron, uh... Up in house records, Chubla Trisha, you know, I give her mad respect because she's my homegirl. No matter what she's done, I don't do the things she do, but I do respect her as an individual. Um, she's a service member wife, so, you know, she's down with NC Diamond, but we don't know each other like that, but she's cool. People don't have a couple run-ins, but, you know, that's so old misunderstandings. Chubla Trisha kind of actually defended me in a lot of things. I will give her that. Now, we got this dude named Mama Ricky. Mama Ricky is the type of person, he ain't never a hater. I think anytime a woman gets successful, he just want to shoot it down because he want to be a chick so bad. He's a dick with a chick and a chick with a penis. I'm not trying to knock him for because Mama Ricky has been my friend too, but we were quarreling. He said, fuck me. I said, oh, no, fuck you. I'm not going to cuss like that because I'm just telling you what was went down. But what I'm trying to do is find this video of Jesus Freak doing Cypress Hill. This boy is on point. Now, let me tell you something about Jesus Freak. Jesus Freak is from Canada. He works. Check it out in this video right here. He's my number one guru. Really? Now I'm a fan of his. And then he got the mod that everybody knows. God's a good one. Right now, he eating Thai tea express. He loves Chinese food. But the one, the video I love the most, I always reflect it somewhat in some of my videos because I learn from great ones and he's one of the greatest. He doesn't have 1K. No, he doesn't. He has about 523. And that's cool with him because the only thing he does is work and smoke Reba all damn day. And he's just from Canada. And he got a good heart. You know, that's why he call himself Jesus Freak because he's a certified gangster slash certified Christian. Now, he used to do the thug deals back in the day. But now he's just working. He's a contractor. I think the military and also he's the new backup singer for Nirvana. So I'm just trying to find what he was doing Cypress Hill, man. It was epic. And I can't find it because it's so doggone long ago. <laughs> I'm getting close to it, y'all. If I don't do it in the next 10 seconds, we'll go to something else. How about that? Because y'all can be watching anybody, but y'all here with me. So I'm going to give you something good to watch. When I don't, I'm so tired, guys. The sun drained the crap out of me today. And I know y'all know Abandoned Boys. I do him all the time because he's, uh, also a good friend of mine. Um, oh, man, there's so many people I want to go down the list of. Happy Thor's Day. I missed out when that was 225. What the crap? I don't know why you two ain't got with it yet. Why don't you just put Cypress Hill with Jesus Freak? That's the one I'm looking for. You guys probably have seen it already. You guys have been down with me for since day one. But I want you to tell you guys something. This is not my content. It oh, God, check it out. This is when... The police beating him up, y'all. Check it out. Check it out. Hello. Spam. But the police jump on. Look at his eyes, y'all. That's a damn shame. The white said, fuck the police. They beat him up. Please they beat this to me. Fuck him. Can't even see out of my eye. Lord Jesus, bless his soul, Lord. You gotta do this close fuck up, y'all. It's me, y'all. I'm gonna bring y'all a little closer. Look what the police did to my best friend, Jesus Freak. They beat him up in early January, February. <coughs>
I love you so much. I'm fucking crying, you know? I hate shit like that. And that's why I had the opportunity to be a police officer. I said, no, no. No. If I become a police, I'm going to beat the hell out of the police. So I don't, that's why I, I don't think I made a good police officer. Because when you bad like this, sir, me to turn around with your ass. Beating on innocent people like that. That is crazy as hell. I don't know what's wrong with some of these police. But here it is. It's Satan in the membrane. Cypress Hill, Jesus Christ. Check him out. Oh, get out. Get my hands low. Now he's wanting to get a, a, a only uh, fans oh, thing. Look at that big old nigga. Oh, because oh. a nigga like me is going insane, insane in the membrane, insane in the brain, insane in the membrane, going insane, got no brain. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, nigga. Yeah, 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 some videos. You know Alex and Sam, don't you? You do. You do know him. Little black lad, little white lad, got a dog, don't know who dog belongs to. But you know him. You know him, don't you? I'll show you. 
One day, Alex and Sam were mucking around on their phones. Want to take a selfie? Yeah. Then Sam had an idea. I'll take a picture. What if they sent a picture of Alex's willy to their friend Katie? Bear in mind that Katie's dad is going to smash your friggin' head in for this. You know, the kind that disappears in a few seconds. When Katie <laughs> saw it, she thought it was very funny. Katie thought it was funny, so you can imagine what's going to happen now, can't you? So she screen grabbed the picture and sent it to her friends. And they sent it to theirs. And none of them went and told the parents, because they don't do that, don't kids. And the next day at school... Just one second. There's quite a few adults got Snapchat there, which is very... I know we all want our YouTube channels to grow and modeling success is typically. However, it is not always the best idea. So I'm gonna tell you how doing things like big YouTubers can actually keep you small. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, real quick, I want to let you know that my podcast is out now. It's called Comments Over Coffee, and it's available on all of the major podcasting platforms. I'll put information about that in the description below. But anyway, you may or may not know that when I see a good comment on one of my videos, I will often open that up in a new tab, and I'll check out the channel. Just, you know, take a glance, kind of see what's going on. That helps me stay in line with what's happening in the community, and it also lets me know the things that I need to talk about, like this. I've noticed a pattern. A lot of content creators are basically selling themselves short, or they're taking away the opportunity that they have to actually get growth and exposure here on YouTube by mimicking what they see a lot of big YouTubers do. Let me explain. When you see bigger YouTube channels like Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon, for example, or any other big channels on YouTube, it's important to keep in mind that regardless of what it is that they put out, because they already have a huge audience in place, that as soon as they hit the publish button, people are going to start pouring into their video content. And I'm talking like tens of thousands of views in just the first hour. They could literally make a title with just explanation points in it. And people would click on it like crazy because they know that that particular big YouTuber that they're a fan of is putting it out. If you or me did that, there's a really good chance that that video is not going to perform well because we just can't send that amount of traffic to a video as soon as we publish. And look, I'm not saying that their titles are garbage or that their thumbnails are garbage because they are obviously not. High-level creators know how to get that result from people. They know exactly what it is that they're doing. But because as soon as they hit that publish button and they have a lot of people pouring into that video, they're sending tons of data into YouTube in terms of how that video performs or in terms of how people respond to that video so that YouTube knows, hey, people like this are responding to this particular video, therefore, we're gonna start trying to show this video to other people that are like this. And let's take one of those same videos and we put it on the homepage, right? As soon as you log into YouTube, well, the same exact thing happens there. When one of these creators like Casey Neistat, for example, when he uploads a video, the title can say pretty much anything, but as long as his face is in the thumbnail, guess what? The people that like Casey Neistat are going to go in and they're going to watch that video regardless of what the title says. And this right here is where things can really start hurting you if you don't already have that built-in audience. Let's say that you're a channel that has 500 subscribers on it. Or let's say that you're getting like 500 views per video and you, you know, you're just kind of getting that ball rolling. You're getting 500 views per video. Well, there's not a lot of people that know your face yet. So... If you were to do that same exact thing, then what's going to happen is it's going to hit the homepage a few times. And depending on exactly what's happening in the thumbnail and exactly what the title is, there's a really good chance that that video is just not going to get the clicks that you want it to get because you just haven't built up that audience yet. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that a high performing video that you put out isn't going to perform. What I'm saying is that when you are doing things like titling your videos like one of these larger creators, you just don't get that initial juice or that initial recognition that they can get, which basically tells YouTube that it's a decent video. Let me give you another example. I know that from some of the channels that I've you know, just opened up and looked at, I know that in our live streams when we look at channels, you know, one of the things that we see a lot- Very good information, guys. That will make videos oh, I don't have nobody now. You know, Bonnie's first day. So I know what and I'm about to do in the stream, guys. Wow. For the sake of 
I only got on here to just tell you guys I have an OnlyFans channel now. I'm not really doing anything with it. So, but, you know, I try to do what I can. I don't have 1K. God knows I don't. And when I get it, it'd be great. It will be. But right now, I don't. So, when I go live, I decided, you know, it's not all about me, Lord. My hair is a mess. So I need to wash it and roll it. But it'll be all right. It's in a ponytail right now. And I got to go get my uncle in a little bit. But I just want to get back on here and read some of the comments and, uh, Go ahead and end the stream because right now I've been on the 45 minutes, 23 seconds. I had my boy wake up gaming here, wake up, me, wake up call gaming here with me. And I was telling him I do now have a OnlyFans channel. He said, follow your heart. <laughs> really? Let me read the comments, honey. And I'm going to go ahead and end this chat. Wake up gaming. I want your rank and serial number. The serial, like serial eating serial number on Happy Wednesday. Everyone, happy hump day. And he says, what's up, goodies? <laughs> He's talking about the twins, I guess. He says, is it Halloween already? No. And he says, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Breaking news, Call of Duty is boring. I guess it is. When I said I got an OnlyFans down there. Um, <laughs> no gaming right now. My live stream is today, okay, girl? Breathe. You're right. It's hot. It's hot. I'll tell them how sweaty I am. But going down. No gaming right now. My live stream is today. Okay, girl, breathe. And uh, Wake Up Gaming says, you're beautiful inside and out. Live from Cleveland, Ohio. The heart of the rock and roll of fame. It's your hero, Gerald. <laughs> I know. I love him so much. I love him so much. Because, you know, I'm going to tell you something about Wake Up. Wake Up Call Gaming is an, an extraordinary individual. He has his gamers, and he has over probably probably 2K, 1K. I know he's up there. And uh, not only is the band boys, I mean, I have a whole lot of people influence me, from Katie Roby to, uh, oh, my God, she has, like, 50K, thousand. Wow. So I understand why she has to be who she is. But I love her so much. She's from Indiana. Abandoned Boys, uh, Honey Gamer, Tony What's Up, which is now Tony What's Up Gaming. Um, Byron, uh, God, the good one, Jesus freak. I'm just going out. Carolina Hillbilly, yes. James Scott guy. Um, who else is it? A view with a view. AP hashtag full twenty. You know I love him. Um, I'm just thinking things at the top of my head, guys. Um, Bernice, I love her. Anybody that's in a band of boys chat, we're pretty much friends. So that covers all that. Um, wow. Mad Max YT. Uh, Honda Hamilton. Wow. I don't know the guy from Miami. I love him too. I think he's sexy. He looks like Dwayne Johnson, but he's no kin to me. I'm hot Latino, brother. Damn, he's hot. Oh, Lord. I need to go to Miami and find me a man like that. Even though he's married with kids and stuff, I don't want to shine on her. Uh, someone else's husband. He's a fine individual. And y'all ladies is out there is really, really sick. I mean, you ain't got no man and you want a man. The best place that y'all do is be on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Show these dudes some tits or something. No, I'm swearing. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. I was just making a joke. But, you know, one thing about, I can say this, honestly. I think a woman should have the right to do whatever she wants to with her body. It's her body. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but, you know, when we do that as ladies, guys, if we show our tits, then we have to be woman enough to accept the, the, the ramifications that come behind it. People are going to call you a fucking whore or they may say, like, damn, she's a nice bitch or, you know, those little words like that. How would I take it somebody called me a cunt or bitch? <laughs> Things like that don't fade, fade me. And yeah, I do have a You Now channel, and I put it in the uh, the actual chat here. And it's uh, HTPS forward slash forward slash OnlyFans.com forward slash Stacey Roberson 27. It's the same exact thing as my Gmail, but, you know, the forward slash, that's me. Now, I have not uploaded any videos except the ones I do on YouTube. Because I don't think I'm ready to be nudist. Or, or I could do it, but I I don't feel right by doing that, you know. Because I look at the ramifications for me. If I did this, my grandkids might see it, and I'll probably feel small as hell, even though I am Stacey Little. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to do that. I just can't see myself doing that. I really can't, you know. I think what's in my bra should stay there. Now, there's been a couple accidents, and I know... 
some of you guys at Steve got tried to uh, delete the video, but it went viral as hell. I think I got that video. I got like 365 views. Was sitting there looking cute and a little whitey talking and fine as wine and breaking it down like Nick Ninnum you just saw. Saw the friends like Jesus Freak being on panels and with Katie uh, talking to Katie, talking to View with a View, just being on different panels. Um, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, a View friends on on Star Skies. Um, I've been a couple. Lovely Fifty One, you know, Lovely Fifty One has a smart mouth, but yet still I can respect her for what she's saying because. Sometimes you think you hear one thing, but you don't hear another one. Um, wow. But if I keep going on and on and on and on, Tucker Z, Trucker Z, Trucker Z, Tucker Z, T U C K E R Z E, he's my homeboy. Um, Angel Kiss. Um, then Queen B and my girl, don't forget about Brooklyn chick. Um, let me see, there's so many, so many people I know. It's over 50, over 25,000 people. I can call out kid behind the camera, angry grandpa, uh, Triple Chisha, you know, um, uh, Tina Dandridge, um, uh, be our guest, guest mob, uh, Niggs. I love him because Niggs, he, he would tell you exactly how you feel. But uh, I remember the time when Truth to Trisha, and my nephew's dead right now from COVID 19, got on here about 2018 and he was using my account and he seen Truth Patricia show her tits on this thing called OnlyFans. Now I could I for a long time I had to find it in myself to forgive myself what I said to Truth Patricia because for one, I should have been a better aunt to keep his ass off the internet. You know, like there's not a day that does not go by that I don't think about my nephew. Oh God. I've been on YouTube now for a good minute, y'all, and I've met some great people like Mama Ricky, Kelly Huff, Wicked Widow, Savage. But never did I thought I would be crying right now. I'm so sorry, guys. Today's my nephew's birthday, and I just tried to get around it, but there's no way I could get around it. He was the one that was on OnlyFans, and he saw Truly Trisha. He fell in love with her. He was like, oh, she's so beautiful. And I saw him watching her and doing all speak about that. You know how you can walk in a room with your nephew or your, maybe you have a son, think that you're at work and you show up early and he's doing things that he shouldn't be doing, like choking his penis or whatever. I saw that I lost my fucking mind. I did. I swear to God I did. And I told him, I said, you know, you're, 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 I just cussed him out. And I was so freaking mad. That I took it out on True Patricia. Now, True Patricia is not her fault that he saw it, but it was my fault for letting him get on. Rest in heaven, nephew. And uh, I made this big thing about it. And then when I raised hell about it, some of uh, Computer Blue, oh, honey, that's the one I don't like, sent some type of a link to one of my comments. I could pull it up if I wanted to, where there's black women getting beat and beat in Africa. And that shit pissed me off so bad. And we see you. How dare you make a mockery out of me by putting my fucking head on some shit by beloved. You know, you guys got really a lot of balls. But one thing I would not take, and that's racism. Now, I don't know what your problem is. Honey, those are things I'll just come back to do and just enlighten me on my nephew's birthday. Now, you can see I'm going through a hot flash right now because I'm mad as hell, baby. Now, I'm not going to get on here and show my tail because I'm a lady. But I'm going to tell you something. Anytime you guys want to step up to me, a boss lady, I don't think you want to, honey. Because I'll be the one to show up, pull up in your yard with the police and arrest your damn ass myself. Now, I don't know what you mean by taking a video, putting my face on it, and it looks like I'm getting beat in Africa my damn self. You guys got a lot of clouds. Now, I think all lives matter. All black lives going to matter today. Honey... <laughs> I don't get down like that anyway. First of all, I'm not racist. I'm not. How in the hell can a black, white, Italian sister like me be racist? Now, here y'all are, white trailer trash park shit. I'm going to tell you, God damn it, because you're staying at home with your mama, got six fucking kids, and your own welfare won't take your ass to work. Tell me anything. I retire from me, I'm sorry, 32 years. You think you're going to make a mockery of that shit? Hell no. Mama Rick, I salute you, baby. You never said that. It's the bitches you hang out with that does. Now, the way you address me, and you supposed to be my friend, you should have known she was lying. 
Now that's why I'm mad at you, Mama Ricky. And then you're gonna talk shit about me and Witty. What the fuck, bro? Now I'm gonna tell you something. I got three words for all of y'all. You can do what go to H E L L. I'm not gonna cuss no because it's I don't have to do that, my lady. Y'all excuse me, honey. I am sweating like I'm just mad. Hot flashes, and this is the time I miss my friend Kelly Huff and, and Wicked Weirdo and Artist in Love. Because they were the one to tell me about premenopause. Yeah, I can get out here do you might be like 35 videos. Like that's that's kind of crazy, man. But no, you gotta start before you're ready and post a lot of videos. Let me tell you the mistake I'm on. Judging your results too early. Now that I've been helping other creators and entrepreneurs um, grow their YouTube channels, I see one of the biggest mistakes people make is they only post like two videos or seven videos, or maybe even a lot of videos, but they're just all over the place, they're super scattered. They're like, I just don't know why I'm not to a thousand subscribers. Yet, you can't judge your results too early. You need to post about 35 videos for our research, even as we start a new channel, to trigger the algorithm, to get things going. So tell me in the comments, how long have you been on YouTube, and how many videos have you posted so far? If you want to get to 1,000 subscribers, and you've only posted six videos sporadically, one or two years ago of a dance recital, and then you get out like, you're probably not going to get there, and you got to start before you're ready and just keep posting. Like, you can't be that judgmental when you're just starting out of even your content. Like, your first videos are going to be your worst videos and you can improve as you go. In fact, you know, now I've posted over 2,000 videos online. I have, I have a couple failed YouTube channels that led to the successful oh, well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Hey yeah, guys, I'm, I'm, I have to come back and apologize. I, posted, I had to uh, calm it down, down, but I'm back. Matter of fact, you know, everything I said, I'm going to go back and edit this video and take that part out. I had to get on here to flip mode because of negativity. The reason why that happened, someone called me when I was live streaming earlier to tell me all these things that I just said. But, you know, you got to be aware of trolls and their trauma, you know. But uh, I will say I was wrong for the things I did three years ago. I should have handled it differently. But, you know, when you see your nephew doing unthinkable things, and he's supposed to be a kid on YouTube. It hurts, and that's why I can't get on you now and expose press and things like that. I'll get on there and work out with you in a bikini or something, but expose, no, I, I can't do that. I, I try to think about it, but no, my heart says I got to stay true to myself. What's in my bra and stay in my bra. I can understand the accent, but actually exposing it, I just can't do that. Y'all. I can't, I can't, I can't. Think about how my grandchild would feel, how my daughters would feel. My daughters got their own... Uh, <laughs> Only fans face making a lot of money from it. But you know, that's them, you know, they aren't as seasoned as I am, you know, to know that you know, when you do things like that, there's a ramification repercussions behind it because my kids done they live life to the fullest. They don't think about anything. But me, since I'm a little older, a little wiser, uh, I have an image to uphold and my daughters are just like little little kitty celebrities, you know, of of, of me, a military, I guess. And um they do what they do because they know what mom Mom is great, Sergeant. Man, they use that shit to their advantage, but I love them so much. But when they do that, they keep me young as well. Especially my youngest, are, she'll tell her oldest, put your tits up, mom. Put your tits up. <laughs> she can tell when I don't have a bra. Of course, I used to, I used to breastfeed my kids. They should know that. But uh, I, I, I do apologize for earlier, guys, because you know today is my nephew's son, and a lot of things that happened three years ago need to stay in the past, you know? So to remember him i apologize to anyone who wants to hear it i'm so sorry for saying all that but um guys i'm gonna tell you about wake up call gaming the reason why i love him so much is because when i was on a live stream i think it was i don't want to i think it's wrong memorial day was it memorial day or father's day i was doing a live stream and i don't know i know exactly who it was so her people over to attack me because I cussed her ass out in someone's chat. Now, the reason why I cussed her out is because she was picking a fight and try to be a little mini, make herself look good because she was staying up her channel. Y'all know what she is. And I ain't having it. At all, though. 
Why is it when people come on someone's channel and they've been there, uh, I guess like me, I got Randy Quaid who's been there for me since I started. Now he is my number one go-to guy when I want to moderate it because he stuck it out with me, honey. And right now, I don't know where he is. And I told him I'm going to start going live all the time. And he knows how busy I am. I know that I'm a good person and everything I tell you is true. The tires are major and the blah, 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 but I don't want to talk about that anymore because right now we're at security uh, risk right now because of what's going on. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So I've got notifications that I may have to stop everything I'm doing and report to duty, which ain't me. <laughs> that's what I live for. Um, I did work for Colin Powell and I still do, just not in uniform. Um, but anyway, enough of that. Military is military. This should not have anything to do with social media at this point. You know, something got to do with the COVID-19, guys. And I'll tell you that when I get back from my mission, you guys are going to know it. Because you're probably going to see on the news. Somewhere in the state near you, we um, have been called to have assist with COVID-19 shots. So y'all might be seeing me somewhere. Not just one state, a couple of them. So I've been getting a lot of phone calls today, and um, some good ones, some ones I don't give a shit here about. But long story short, it has been a very unusual hump day, <laughs> very unusual. I got hired at a job. I went there today, but I just got called, and I'm on call, and that any job or any school that I'm in, I might need to give them notice. I might be gone for a minimum 180 days, which is six months, uh, short of a TDY. You guys know what temporary duty station is to be military. So, but that is enough of that. I, I don't want to put that here. I got zero people in the building. One thumbs up. I've been on here on one hour and one minute, guys. I'm probably going to stay on until, I don't know. Maybe I should do some homework here, you know, 340. I'll probably stay on a little while because I do want to check out Carolina Hill building. I'm homeboy. And if anybody cares to know, welcome to my live stream. Meet someone here. <coughs> Marilyn Lorizano, he's a Spanish guy. I checked him out a couple times. I'm subscribed to Toya. I'm subscribed to a lot of people. This one is that way. And uh, I made it my business to show up and show out by looking at the old video and leaving comments within the next couple. I say, hopefully, I have this, this thing, you know, probably within the next week or so. Because right about now, I have nothing but downtime. You know, I've started a new job here locally, very lucrative, and I'm having a good time with it. But you see, I get off early. I work remotely home, but I can go in when I want to, you know, just to touch up on some things. But a lot of things is going on. And uh, I try to throw some, some kind of tutorial video to show you how to grow your channel, like Nick Nenham, uh the YouTube challenge is on Facebook. Um, if you know someone or know another YouTuber that works on Facebook and you're trying to set up the channel and get more subscribers, more play watch, whatever you're trying to do, there's a thing called a uh, YouTube Challenge Facebook with Facebook YouTube challenge where you do a challenge and I did it. I did I threw four videos up there and so far. Oh my god, it's been mad crazy. I have probably from those four videos alone about 256 emails um already that I need to. So when you put your video out there or you drop the link to it inside of Facebook, um they look at your stuff, they really do. And wake up gaming, excuse me. Wake up gaming. I get him in the hundred gaming. But wake up call gaming. The reason why he's special to me because he defended me when I had a whole lot of crazy trolls coming once. I mean, they were coming in, boy. I have never seen a massive flow of trolls like that. I think I noticed it in abandoned boys one time. I don't know what it is. But you know, he was there for me. And I love him so much for that. I'm always indebted to him. And he also has a great channel. He's a great YouTuber. He does the most greatest games from Call of Duty to you know, whatever he wants to play. And then there's my little baby, Cyber Son. I love to call him Money Gamer. I love him as well. He's in school right now. Well, he's got a job. And so he doesn't I don't see him live stream that much. I don't, I don't see notifications. for everybody. No YouTube notification system sucks right now. Um, I know I was trying to do a live stream last night. And I was waiting, waiting for the notification. It took me over an hour and a half to get it. Man. That just lets you know how much YouTube is growing every day. Wow. But uh, as far as 
you know, cussing people out. Well, I don't have to do that. I'm in my own house. So I'm learning to say whatever people do outside, let them do it, you know? Because the more you feed a fire with your anger, the more it grows. So right now I'm just trying to put out old things that beat my y'all when I first started out because it's small, small stuff. And these people, you know, I've never seen before. I mean, we're socially friends, but for us real friends, nah. No, I, I potentially met uh, a Myers that I think um, maybe came to us, my boyfriend, which is Cheese Myers. I met that person from Katie's channel, Miss Wonderful. And uh, I haven't seen her in a while. I don't know if people know me. I'm here, I'm gone. Because one time I said I was going to quit YouTube. I said a couple times. I like, actually deleted two old damn channels. That were, I mean, I had a 25K, another one at, I think, like 2.5. I deleted it because I got mad about, you know, what kind of people I was bringing and what type of message I was delivering. So I got rid of it. And then also, you know, with me being military, the position I held, I couldn't be so famous on YouTube. So I had to give it up for a while and I come back. And now, like, my shit dropping 612, 611. And I had it up to 676 one time, this channel. Now it's up to 611, so it's dying slowly. And I wonder, is it worth doing it? Yes, to me it is. If I get down to one person, I still perform as if I had 100,000. Feel me? But uh, guys, I'm getting a little sleep. I guess the heat getting to me. Because, you know, nice cool weather we once had, which was like 72, 75, is now 94. The sun is coming back in July. It's coming back with a vengeance. So, but anyway, I'm not going to be on too much longer. I need to get some rest. I was going to stay up in here, but I see I'm not bringing anyone right now. And this is supposed to be the time that I'm supposed to be. Um, how can I say it? This is supposed to be the time that I am supposed to live stream or whatever. And I can give thank you guys two thumbs up. And that one person watching me, I, I greatly appreciate it. But uh, when it's time for me to focus on 1K, I will, I'll say the road to 1K or you know, something that you know that I'm going to do a long, 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 long live stream. And it may be this weekend. Um, because right now, um, I'm, I'm supposed to be working this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, Homeland Security. And uh, that is a very tiring duty. Stay. Oh, Lord. Sometimes, I mean, every time I do pull that duty, you know, being who I am, uh, it takes me three days to catch up. No sleep. You can't even sleep 48 hours. I think it's 72 hours. Or and I was going to live stream it, but we're not allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like at this particular time, because all the uh, all the things going on in the world. Oh God! Let's see, think about what I want to cook tonight. How odd it is! I want to win this, get me a taco salad. You know that. And uh, I went to the gym this morning. Shot a little basketball, but hell, it was so hot. I just got out of the basketball court and went straight to the pool. And that's what I really want to do now, go back out to the pool. Carol, I mean, we're in uh, Chirol, South Carolina. But I want to check out Carolina Hillbilly, too. So, guys, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to go see Carolina Hillbilly. And if you guys, anybody in the chat right now is going live, or you got some playlists or something, go ahead and drop your links. Um, Wake Up Gaming is the only one so far that's been here. I know I have a couple of people pop in and out when they see that fans only part. Yeah, yeah, I do have a fans only page on it, but I haven't thought about doing anything explicit on it. No, I, I'm afraid. I really am. <laughs> but uh, we were talking about it in uh, Corey's chat, Band of Boys. The reason why I say that because most of the time, if I go to anybody's chat, he's first and of course, you know, I got a couple of friends, other friends like I can go to. But uh, he is always 8 o'clock in the morning. And that's why I owe him a man respect because I remember I didn't have 100. Look at me now, you know. And it's not just because I got good content on 100, but somebody got to guide you for you to put. Somebody got to show you how to walk before you know how to walk. You feel me? And, you know, he's just one of the many. Um, friends that I have that's on YouTube, but he's the one that pretty much put me on his arm and called me family. He didn't know me from hell as shit, but he was like, sis, come on down. You know, he makes you feel that way. But guys, I'm sorry, today is my nephew's birthday. 
and I'm just sitting here thinking about the last conversation that we had. And I put it in, and I grounded him. Well, I'm going to finish reading these comments. Um, uh, wake up call game. This is you. You're beautiful inside and out. Live from Cleveland, Ohio, the heart of rock and, rock and roll. I need my glasses. Hall and fame. It's it's your hero, Gerald, that by well. And then, of course, I dropped my link here for uh, HTPS, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, only dot fans dot com for slash Stacy Rose 27. That is my hook on OnlyFans. I put three videos up there, guys, and nothing explicit, nothing at all. I promise you that. If anything, I'm going to show people how to cook and how to do correct push up <laughs> that type of stuff. Maybe, you know, you know, some Daisy Dukes or something like that. Other than that, no more, nothing less. And he says, Follow your heart. He says, We love you, Stacy. Working out with Stacy. You better know it, baby. I'm going to bring it hard. Y'all see my hair? I got my short, my hair in the front cut real short. But in the back, my hair is like this long. And it's growing back crazy. You see how it waves up? Man, the humidity is on point. It is on fire. But anyway, guys, um, thank you for the two thumbs up. I've been on here one hour and 11 minutes. I'm going to stay with three minutes. So if there are any questions for me, I'm going to be on until 1.15. I mean, you see what time? Not 1.15. I'm going to be here to 4 o'clock. And then I got to go see Caroline Hill building my board. Yeah, I see my favorite colors black and then blue. Yeah, Carolina, that's what I call myself, Carolina Diamonds. My favorite color is Carolina blue and black. Panthers, baby. You want to see Chapel Hill? Anyway, guys, um, anybody saying this, I might as well just go and get out now. Get me a little nap in. And, uh, but anyway, guys, you can check out my fans only page. If you like, give me some uh, advice. I'd love to have more followers so I can really get down to my workouts. Um, I do yoga, all that stuff. I'm a personal fitness uh, trainer for the military, but I'm also a personal fitness for civilians as well to teach them the right formats how to work out. And I'm listening to uh, Steve in the background talking about the Facebook challenge I just told you guys about. Mm. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up here. I got two people, two people over. I guess maybe you guys are at work or something. Normally, I don't be live right about now. Unless I'm all day streaming. So, guys, but anyway, I'm going to go to YouTube channel. Go to uh, TubeBuddy.com. Or go to uh, VidIQ.com. And uh, do that. But right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off. Um, there's no one here except me. And I thank you guys for spending your time with me because you could have spent it anywhere. And I'm smoking cigarettes back to back, so I know I need to quit right now. So, guys, much love. Blessings from heaven. Check out my fans only page. You'll love it. Workout time with Stacy Little. Really. So, but that's all you're going to see. Nothing explicit unless some actually jump out of my sports bra. <laughs> Peace, guys. Much love. Roger really? up. Have a blessed and maybe this Wednesday, hump day, be your blessed ever. So, with that being said, guys, much love.